What up brothers? Welcome to Mucka Motorsport. This is going to be our first vlog. We thought we'll kick it off and get started with uh, the Mucka HQ compound. You might remember this area from when we got the six rotor out and bashed it just before Christmas. We ended up laying a few donuts when she was basically uh, straight off the dyno, straight from PPRE really. So we're going to take you down to the sheds, check out the new Mucker HQ. We're going to check out the um, transporter shed, all of the concrete, the workshops, the foot out, the whole lot. Let's go. All right, vlog one, we're into it. We've got my man B Party on the, uh, on the camera here. He's gonna show us through. He's gonna bring a whole lot of footage our way and uh, keep everything all content wise for, for everyone that's on board with us. So we've got the uh, start of basically where the Mucker HQ will, will, will be. Electric gate here, so it's all sort of secure and chuck some CCTV alarms and get everything positioned at the start, so she's all primo. And then, uh, yeah, we'll walk on through. And here we are through the gate, so big main area here which is going to be all concrete between the uh, between the two sheds over here on the side we've got the, the mucker HQ which is going to get the fit out hold the race cars all the supplies and stock um, up on the mes floor you know we'll have a few things like the podcast room and a bar etc so we'll run through and show you all of that got a car parking space over to the side next to it and then over to this side we've got the transporter shed so more of where we're going to store trailers the jewelry um, truck combination or bus etc so get all of that stored in there so it's out of the weather and keep it all clean tidy secure and, and on charge so let's go have a look at the first one all right in the transporter shed so we've pretty much just got a lot of junk in our way at the moment as we're trying to move between premises and places and get some space and areas finished so she's a little bit sort of cluttered but um, basically it'll just be four bays all clear enough power points to chuck some things on charge and then uh, you know a bit of storage for like I said, the rigs, keep them away from the from the dirty weather, keep them clean, keep them dry. Fairly big shed, what size is that? Fairly big shed, brother. <laughs> How big is it, bro? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that, eh? Oh, it's a 15 by 20, so not bad size, not bad. Yeah. And um, probably like four, four and a half at the back or so, I think, and it sort of ranges up to like six at the top. It's got four electric doors in here, so keep it all you. Nice. Keep it all simple and clean. And, so what do you got in here at the moment? You got the sprint car? Yeah, we got the sprint car in here at the moment, which we're just like hum and harring on whether we sell it or not. We've got so many mixed thoughts. Um, sort of comes into the like decision making of that we don't have time for this class. This class needs all of our time or none. Uh, that's sort of how we come about it. And at the moment we're giving it like two, three meetings a year and it needs all our time. So I don't know, hum and harring, cheese for sale if there's a buyer. If not, we'll probably keep it. Just. Maybe go for a little hone every now and then, but you know, probably not gonna get much out of it <laughs> as far as the reward or what it deserves. But yeah, we'll keep it until, um, I don't know, it finds its right path really. So buyers hit us up, otherwise we'll keep it. <laughs> not fast. And uh, I noticed this car. looking a little bit naked in there. A little bit new, brother. So we just dropped that motor off. b you actually run that up to Palmy and get that little small block rebuilt, which is a little blown small block. 377 cube, 1471 little field blower. So this little 33 Willys cube, it's all, it's all tube frame chassis. Just throwing the big tire on the rear and she got a nine inch diff with a power glide through it. So yeah, she, we're passing through at like seven six at the moment, it's our best PB. So Pretty sick bit of kit. Oh yeah, she's loud, she's mean. Crack the door open boy, gives us a look. Door open, brother. All right, we made our way into the uh, heart of Mucker HQ here. Mucker HQ. Tell us what this year plans are with this one. Yeah, we're going to build a um, like a dirty area, like fabrication, you know, welding, hot works, grinding, gas, whatever sort of stuff you use in there. So we're going to like basically take up all the way along here, and then we're going to come pretty much up there, and then just going to have stairs. This is going to be like a full wall height here, and then we're like full wall height up here, and then I was going to just going to put like a big roller door in this section of the wall. So I've got a roller door that's already 4.8 by 2.4. So it'll just like pop up electric and then you can just like wheel a car in and out when you want to work on it, you know, get it get it maintained, get it repaired. Got to roll him in and out of the dirty shop. And then, cause that wall goes full height, but there's like a floor, mezzanine floor over there, is that on top of the floor in that wall there, we've also got a small roller door. So like a three meter wide by 2.4. And that would just be full of the little forklift over the old Komatsu beast. FG15, that's the specky on that. She's a one and a half ton. Woo, she's a beast. And um, we'll just like lift up the pallets and then just put like tires and stock and 
all the stuff that you need up there, body panels and stuff like that. So pretty much, yeah, probably paint the floor in like that workshop gray and just, just in this area. And it'll all be like fully walled here. Um, probably leave the N2 bays open so you can entry through that roller door still. And that's just basically sort of that workshop area where we put the big supplies up top and then the, uh, you know, all the dirty area downstairs. So all right. that'll work, sir. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be magic when that's done. And then in this little square here, we're going to have like a tire machine, probably do a wheel alignment, one over there, and then just have this area more just dedicated to changing tires, like on the six rotor and then all the other ones, but they don't really jump on the tire machine. But definitely on the six rotor, you know, we might have like 20, 30 sets getting changed every now and then. So bang them on there and at our convenience or whether we get our sponsor to sort them out as well, but not at all times we sort of can work in with their time. So that's sort of what's planned for there. Takes up, takes up most of that area. And then as we're coming through on the second bay, we're gonna leave this one like completely empty. So you can literally like drive on right the way through. There's the wash bay, which we'll get to later out the back over there. So we'll, we'll drive through this one, be up and like back in the trailers, load all the race cars up, or, you know, materials or, you know, not materials. Not the bloody building here, are we, bro? <laughs> <laughs> not, not the materials, but like all of the race spares, you know, tires and et cetera, fuel and, and get going straight out, of, straight out of here. So probably more of the exciting stuff is over this end. Oh, the goody. <laughs> right, so over here we've got, um, we're gonna do a room in here. This is gonna be like a full wall here right the way up and a wall that way. And then downstairs, we're gonna have it there. Um, we've got stairs coming up. So like these stairs are gonna pretty much as soon as you come in the ranch slide, you can stair up, it'll be like a landing. Then you can stair up to the mezzanine floor. Then over here, we're gonna have a toilet, be a toilet here. And then we'll have a wall off to the stairs with a door. And then that's gonna get you through to the underside of the mezzanine floor. And in this area here, we'll just have some like memorabilia, some nice photos, like achievements and, you know, whether it be like a few trophies. Um, you know, have we got a few trophies? Do <laughs> you? Yeah, oh, no <laughs> and then uh, like overalls, you know, a couple of helmets, saints, and sick stuff that we don't use anymore. Um, and then over here is the all open base. So it's just like all the way down this line is going to be clear span mezzanine floor. It's a mezzanine floor all the way over there, but all clear span at the bottom. So we'll put one race car in, two race cars three race cars in this bit, and then we're gonna L-shape out. So when we L-shape out, is that we'll have it so that we'll build a frame here, and then clear span back over there, and then we'll also have a race car area under here. So, we've got four spots, but we'll also store more race cars in this square, this square, and that square. So we've got more than four spots. We've got four, five, six, Seven spots. Does that mean you need more cars? And we got four race cars. <laughs> so we might have a problem with that. <laughs> All along the back, SP Tools, which is our biggest partner. Um, and they're absolutely magnificent. They're gonna, from the start, they're committed to prep all of this out and fit it out so that we're gonna have like full SP Tool cabinetry right the way along. Put it in like bays, but they'll be all like seamless from the floor to the ceiling and then all joined. But you'll have your own section for each race car, and we're gonna L-shape round with the workbenches, cabinetry, all the way over to the exit door as well. So each, each area will be sort of more like specifically designed for what tools, equipment, and supplies are needed, you know, because you got like the sprint car, all Imperial products, it's all from the States. We're like, obviously we're running the Mazda, the, the drift car, which is like a lot of metric on it. So you can split, you know, between those tools, between oils and, like what's required from, you know, special bits of stuff to change tires and et cetera as well. So as soon as we get up the top, and then um, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have an office block up there. So that's gonna be like more for me. Um, I don't know where B party's gonna go. He's probably just gonna work out of his ute. <laughs> hey, out of the ute, bro. So yeah. like just an up there though, we'll position a spot. I'll probably put like a ranch slider in that section and then put a deck out that goes along and then back along this wall, but only have like a ranch slider in there and maybe a window in that one and then you can actually have some sort of like outdoor area, some, you know, more of like a talking area on the phone and like enjoy a bit of sunshine. The sunshine's gonna shine on there like the whole day, that'd be primo. And then like from that wall out, we're gonna plan to basically full height wall this whole thing above the mezzanine floor, but then have a good big couple of section of bifolds in it so that you can actually open it up and still have like a handrail height. So there's like safety perspective of like not going off the end. You have a few bezies. But like you can also get the culture of like seeing out into the workshop and like being able to like chit chat, talk and 
you know, have the atmosphere actually laying, that's gonna be like, that's gonna be a key to have good atmosphere in here. And then up on here, we're gonna have a bar, um, we'll have a simulator, pool table, and we'll move on through to like, in that in storage bit, we will have the podcasting sort of room. We will get that sort of design for like interviews and chats and a bit of regroup and doing some media and stuff just in the, in the rear section. And then over on the top of here, just in this space, that way on the mezzanine floor, I was just gonna have that as supplies like oils and products and bolts and just all of the real small consumable type products that are more closer to all of the race space. But we'll stock a lot of that within its like actual specific shelving. And then up there, we're actually gonna have it so that it's like, like the bulk supply of it. So you're not gonna go up there like all the time. We'll get fit, <laughs> running up and down those stairs, we'll get fit. <laughs> uh, the stairs is probably, I don't know, to like bring down a little bit of height, the stairs are probably gonna come up here above the door. I thinking like that so and then get us up onto that floor height thoughts yeah. thoughts on an escalator <laughs> <laughs> escalator yeah, but yeah just jump on the fg15 yeah straight up lpg on she's, she's mad dog oh wow. should we head on out to the wash pad area yeah right let's look out here all right so haven't actually got too much out in uh this section yet but this old shed is going to get pulled down and we'll end up having to do that same thing when we pallet everything up and move it all and clutter somewhere and you know get another area finished and then we can sort of like expand it all back out and regroup it but basically all that's going and then it's easier to probably look over here but we'll come out to line up with this other shed that's over there so then pretty much we'll end up going from like here out to here pretty much exactly like that and we'll have two enclosed bays and then <laughs> Back over this way, brother. Two enclosed bays there. And then like, as we have the other section, I'll just have a roof and an end wall, but it will like basically close into that shed on the side. And then all the wash bay is gonna be in there. So it'll be like an eight by eight wash bay with like some block wall around it. And we'll put an interceptor in there and all the drains and sort of like catch all the grit and oil and whatever and take care of that. And then we'll just put a sump here, which will be a soak pit, not a sump and get all of the water falling from the yard, have this all fully concreted, but you bring all your race car around here, wash it all up, we'll have it on a trolley, and then you just wheel it in that door, head into where you need to go. So it'll be so, covered, will it? Yeah, bro. Covered. Oh, bad push. <laughs> so no excuses to wash it down when it's raining, eh? There'll also be lights in there, so when we come back at 1am, it's raining, it's dark, bang the lights on, do the mahi. <laughs> I'll go to sleep oh. and make sure the race cars are inside I look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's come in here. A little spot that's been neglected, but possibly as we get through all of this next critical path, we might um we might actually end up maybe tuning something in and putting a little bit of development in and, and getting this thing going. So it's just the racetrack that we quickly buzzed up out of the bulldozer a few years back now, so she's well overgrown. A racetrack? Wow, you know what I mean? Kinda of, kinda of is meant to be the shape of one, whether it's prepped and usable or that, nah, nah, no way. No way, bro. But we'll pretty much just clear that burn pile, eh? Sort the infield out and then we'll actually like get all of the track prepped, need to bring some clay in, and then, she's a little small track, she's only like 120 meters straight, so. What's with the NASCAR banking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the hamburger drives here, bro. <laughs> before, he's practicing here before he went over and won in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, bro, he's fast, yeah. he is fast. Can so, I ask what the neighbors think of this place? Yeah, they hate it. Well, they don't like this track. Yeah, we don't like the neighbors anyway. Oh, okay. Neighbors don't like us, we don't like them. Oh, if they're watching. Okay, yeah, guys. You're up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get all of this prepped up. I reckon put some clay down. I don't know. Run some midgets around here. Yeah, yeah. A couple of midgies. I don't know how they are washing on the line or receive all the dust, but chili bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here, boy? Oh, hustle mini bike, bro. Got it from um, hustle mini bikes in New Zealand. You find them on find them on Instagram. His name's Tim, and uh, he's a magic man with the fabrication on this. So it's just got a little robin motor on this electric start. Which is running the fat boy wheels with the little beadlocks made by skeleton welding. And then, uh, yeah, the custom muffler logo on. We put the drag bar on, eh, just to sort of see what it's going to do, whether we can like, hold it on that rear wheel. And then, uh, just for a bit of a look, really. So she's powder coated in the uh, mucker orange. And, yeah, she's pretty sick. <laughs> cool, we better catch. So they go like 80k or something, yeah. Hey? Really? Yeah, so we need to freaking take it down, uh, take it down that quarter mile, eh, and put a time against it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's wrap this up because it's getting freezing, it's getting dark. Um, but basically, yeah, this is the shed where um, we used to have all the mucker cars, race cars out of stables. So we had four bays, 
20 by nine and we're all rocking in there with just like welding and fabricating repairs and then just all the maintenance, bit of a hoist and shit. So pretty much just cleared this so that it looks like the house now. So that, yeah, the big sheds over the other side, that's all gonna be like the mucky area and then made this shed so that it's more like the house gonna have the nicer look about it. So come on in, we'll have a look at the first bit. Oh, bro, it's freezing. It's so cold. I didn't have to do this much. So yeah, this first little bit is going to be, um, I'm actually going to donate this bit to the to the wife. Straight across here, just a little bit of a room for art and all of the fancy stuff that she does, the graphic design and decorations and organising and etc. So give this little area and then from here onwards, basically just going to have it all clean and all lined everywhere and polish the floor and stick a stack of hoist in here. But we're gonna do that across all four bays. So basically you'll just rock the doors up. When you rock all four doors up, then you'll just have a stack of hoist in each bay. So hold up, um, you've got all these sheds, bro. Hold up, brother. We're and you're gonna give her that little tiny bit down there. Bro, that's huge. <laughs> you sure? Bro, that's like 10 squares. <laughs> all like, the sheds. That's like nine and a half squares too many, that's huge. <laughs> so we'll have this one as a full bay. Probably put like a motorbike, couple of shit in the back and then um, stack of hoist there. Couple of cars. Couple of cars, just like, you know, shows, sports, classic car type stuff. And then through here, pretty much do much and much of the same, really. Get it all cleared out. You can see all the stuff to do with muckers just sort of on the floor and in the way and everywhere. And as we get all the other areas progressed and finished, we end up sort of like moving and organizing and getting everything structured. So yeah, stack a hoist, stack a hoist. Couple more, um, couple more spots for a few more cars. And then with this door here, it's just gonna make a Wall all the way across here, clear this out, keep the TV, heat pump, toilet, a little bit of a kitchen and create that for the couple of uh, workers that we need with a bit of the business that we do is just a bit of a lunchroom and smoker area and play pen, you know, <laughs> dartboard. Boys have been busy here uh, the last couple of days, chuck, eh? Chuck the dartboard in, bro, so yeah. No, they've been going well. Wrap days, eh? The production's pretty mean, so should be able to get all this closed out in the next couple of two, three weeks and then, yeah, move on into that muck a shed and hit that fit out because uh, the transporter one, that doesn't need anything. It's already got the high bay lights, it's already got all of the electricals, so pretty much just need to get everything out of there so that we can start actually utilising that area, you know, the store. And then yeah, muck a fit out, build that other 8x8 wash bay shed. He's just parked wall. everywhere, got some of the drag car down here. The big girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bit naked in here with all the cars gone. Bro. <clears throat> It's just a mess, eh? <laughs> life, Getting life's there. just upside down. Love it to be organised on OCD, but far away from that, so. But now, uh, awesome as this is our first vlog anyway, so we'll obviously, um, you know, keep kicking it over time and improving and getting better and better at what we're trying to do, but we'll bring some more uh, premium content to everyone, and yeah, like and subscribe and jump on and support us, and we'll be able to keep going. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Later. <laughs>